it's wonderful. We're very, very lucky today to see all these things. We don't always see such amazing things in one drive. There we go. Let's just get into a position where we can watch them nicely. That's beautiful, look at that. <laughs> what a wonderful sighting we have. We're so lucky. They're all thirsty. And elephants get very thirsty. They have to drink every single day. Same as you have to drink every single day. Well, so do the elephants. And they're very, very big, you can see. And look, they're just like us, you know. Elephants are just like us. You know how, you know, when you go to a birthday party, the boys are always fighting with each other and pushing each other all over the place. What's well, the same with the elephants. And you know how the girls were much more civilised about life and they talk to each other nicely and they kind of, um, well, they don't behave, they don't push each other about. Well, it's the same with elephants. And I'll show you what I mean if they start to do silly things. It's very funny to watch. Look at that one there. Trying to climb up the bank. That's a young bull. It's a young male. He's just playing. He's not actually stuck. He's just playing because he's being silly. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> I think that's great. There we go, he's climbed up. <laughs> Beautiful sighting of elephants having a lovely drink. And it's quite hot. It's not very hot, everybody. Lyra and Fatima, you want to know how big an elephant is in real life? Well, I mean, very big. They are bigger. I don't know what kind of car your dad drives, but I'm sure some of you, some of your fathers will drive those big 4x4s like a Fortuna or a Prado. They're about the same size as a Prado. So that's a huge, huge animal, like a la Land Cruiser, bigger than a Land Cruiser. And you know, an elephant is so strong that if it wanted to, it could turn one of those huge land cru cruisers or fortuners over, push it over onto its side. And that's how big they are. They weigh 6,000 kilograms. A big male elephant weighs 6,000 kilograms. You know how heavy that is? Oh, and we've got zebras running around here. Oh, it's just wonderful. Look at that. Six thousand kilos, everybody, for a big male elephant. Now, let's pretend that you will weigh 25 kilos or so. Four of you per 100 kilograms. Uh, that makes 40 of you per 1,000 kilograms. Which means, that if you multiply that by six, six times 40 is what? Does anybody know? That means that there would be 240 little Rodine girl grade ones in one big elephant bull. Isn't that amazing? 240 of you. So that's how big they are. And Izzy, the baby elephant, which, uh, which is the smallest one we have here. You want to know how big that one is. There are a couple there in the group there. There we go. The one just disappearing. That one is probably about mm, one and a half meters tall. So that's about five rulers tall. Isn't that impressive? Five rulers tall and probably weighs about 250, no more, about 400 kilograms. So if we do our little analogy again, that is roughly the same as 16 of you. So though your whole class just about could fit into that tiny little elephant. Now look at the zebra, they want to come and have a drink. But they're a bit scared of the elephants because the elephants are so very big. Look at them running around. 
Pierre, you want to know how much water the elephants drink. Pierre, a big bull elephant, if you can believe it, drinks more than 150 litres of water in one day. 150 litres of water. That's 150 milk bottles. Now, why do you think these zebra are running around like this? Why do you think they would be nervous? What would make elephants, at least, what would make zebra nervous? Think about where we've just come from. They can smell the lions. That's where they're looking. They're looking straight towards the lions. They can see all the vultures in the trees. They can probably smell the buffalo meat. And so they're very nervous. They know that the lions are around. There we are. The buffaloes are just down there, or the lions are just down there. And Lily, you're wondering about elephants and their tusks. Uh, they're not horns, Lily. They're teeth. So if you tap the two there, look at the lion moving. Those zebra can see that lion. But he's too far away for the, them, much too far away, and they're not hungry anymore, so the lions will not attack the zebras. Lily, the front of an elephant is tusks. Now, if you all open your mouth and tap your front teeth, like I'm doing. So these two teeth here, those two now, the same ones that Bugs Bunny's got, those are what tusks are. They're the same teeth, and they, what they do is they just go all the way out, like that, out of the elephant's mouth. Now, why do you think a zebra would run towards the lions? I'll tell you why. They run towards them so that they know exactly where they are. They don't want the lions to hide from them in the bushes here and be able to sneak up on them. They want to know exactly where the lions are. This is very, very interesting, you know.